quiet up and listen down. Nope, scratch that, reverse it. This is the third version of Willy Wonka that we're getting and this is entitled Wonka. So we're going to review that in this video. Hey YouTube, what's up? My name is Avram and welcome back to the channel. We're going to be reviewing, as I mentioned, Wonka, which stars Timothy Chalamet alongside Olivia Coleman, Hugh Grant, and other star-studded cast members. So let's talk about the first thing that kind of took me by surprise. Hindi ko inexpect kasi na all-out musical a movie na to. My wife said she knew it's a trailer, that it was gonna be a musical di like direction, but I didn't see it coming. I actually thought that it was just gonna be a plain, you know, Willy Wonka film. You know, thinking about it, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, in a way, if you think and go back to the Johnny Depp version. There were musical elements, but it's not all out. And I know ko the first one with see si Gene Wilder was also a bit of that musical side. In a world of pure, a pure imagination, yung song na yun, that was actually something that first originated from the Gene Wilder uh, version. And then it was adapted, I guess, to this version, which is actually excited. So that's my comment. When it comes to the musical aspect, actually very entertaining. It made this film, to be honest, very exciting, very fun. It goes well or is paired well with the whole vibes and tone of the film. The color grading, the vibrancy, and then add musical aspects to it, then it all makes sense. I mean, from the costume design to the music, there's a liveliness to it. It does feel a bit like a Broadway musical at some point. I do remember the producer starring Matthew Broderick at some moment, so it's that kind of musical. The style of music was also very interesting because it does feel like a, you know, that Broadway tunes kind. It's not uh, like pop, it's not like disco type. It's not trance, just like the ones in the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory movie. So again, everything I think in terms of the visuals and the auditory played well with each other. I love the whole colorful, vibrant vibes that we get. So that's huge check marks for me because of the cinematography, the design, everything was well thought of to give us that world of Wonka. It's a bit of a contrast to the direction of the story. The direction isn't all happy. It isn't all happy tunes and stuff. So it's a nice contrast, the vibrancy that we get, the musical aspect, because there is that naive nature to the story. There is that almost darker tonality in the story. So it's a contrast, but in a good way, because you're getting a heavier story, but then a lighter feels with everything else that's going on. So I think that was something that artistically they chose to do and they did pretty well. Now, when it comes to the characterization of Wonka, in the bigger scheme of things, if you look at the Johnny Depp version or Gene Wilder, there's a disconnect. There's a disconnect to this version that we get, but in a way, this is a prequel. Far from what we know him to be in that movie or in that storyline, so that's something understandable. But overall, continuity-wise, it does somehow click or connect, but then you have to understand this is a prequel. This is so far from the story itself that we're focused on in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. But I love how Timothy Chalamet really transformed the character into something very him. It's very personalized. It's not something he's trying to be Johnny Depp. He's not trying to be Gene Wilder. He understood, and I think it, it helps that it's a different timeline of Wonka. He's not really trying to fit into who we know him to be, but it's him trying to, you know, portray and interpret who he might have been in the past. And that's something I like because he was allowed to move in a way that shows inexperienced, childlike version of Willy Wonka, the risk taker, the one who is really a dreamer, imaginative, but at the same time is very naive in the world that he lives in. And I love the makeup and world building that was done here through the character and through the other characters in this film as well. I love the chocolate cartel, characters nila Olivia Coleman, even the children here, even the the other people that Wonka was able to meet and interact with. I loved it. I loved the vibrancy again and the uplifting tonality of Wonka. Uh, I love that there's also an emotional quality to this that was actually surprising, but it was also fun to see. So you have a nice balance of everything, of fun, of vibrancy, of 
emotionality and depth, which all together, if you combine it, makes for a nice, entertaining movie. I will have you know that I am a perfectly respectable size for an Oompa Loompa. This one, I think, in terms of the vibrant Christmassy vibes, it kind of gives that as well. So I liked it. I like this a lot. I give this, to be honest, surprisingly, a 9 out of 10. I was expecting a lot from it, and it kind of delivered what I was expecting and more. So yeah, I'm pretty much pleased with Wonka. So that's pretty much it for this review. What are your thoughts on Wonka? Have you seen it? Leave a comment. I'd love to know them. Once again, don't forget to make every day into an adventure. My name is Avram. Signing off for now. See you in my next one. God bless guys and peace.